Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at this. This is a Gigabyte Aero RTX 4090 and this has a melted power port. So what I'm going to do now is strip the card down and then we'll get a look under the microscope and you can have a look at the port and I'll show you how I go about replacing this. Okay, so here we are under the microscope now. Um, here's our connector, and as we bring this up, you can physically see this damage. And this seems to be the fate of a lot of 4080 and 4090 cards using this connector. Um, again, this had a cable mod installed, and every time there's a cable mod installed, this seems to happen. Okay, so we're gonna go about replacing this right now. So I'm just gonna gather up some tools and we'll look at removing all the solder. All right, so everything's ready now. Our solder irons at the temperature. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna warm the board up using the hot air station. And at the same time, I'm gonna be applying a lot of low melt solder to these pins. And once the low melt mixes with all the unleaded solder, the port should just drop off with fairly low heat so we're just going to put a bit, bit of flux on this as much as necessary and then I'm going to put a big dollop of low melt on here and then hot air station and our connectors just dropped off so at the same time what I'm going to do is rather than wicking this I'm just going to keep it warm and here's a little trick anyone who wicks these boards will understand that wicking this is very very difficult um, the board just pulls all the heat away from the solder iron so I'm just going to make this liquid and we're just going to give it a little blast of air like that See? This is not a fancy piece of equipment. This is literally just a can of compressed air. All the stuff in here. It's not the end of the world. And that is by far the easiest way to clear out these holes ready for the next port. 
may have to do this again if the pins don't fit. But uh, yeah, just a regular can of compressed air, just to blow the holes through. So that all the lead then goes to the bottom, and everything should be clean. So looking at the front of the board now, so we have some nice clean holes, and our replacement port is right here. All looking good. And what we're going to do now is just attach it to the board. That's a very snug fit. Okay. And it's sitting flush, as you can see. And that is sitting absolutely perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually using a tin just to keep everything up and steady. So everything over here now, and we're ready for new solder. Okay. So this time we're not going to use low melt. I'm actually going to use normal leaded solder and a combination of some solder paste. Uh, the paste will just facilitate soldering to make sure I get a good solder on this. And the same procedure in reverse. Whoops, I missed a pin there. And the same pre procedure in reverse. That's uh, just normal leaded solder on the art, solder iron. Once everything's warm, I'm just going to go over the pins. Yeah, don't worry about the mess too much for now. Secure as many as possible. Alright. I can't work like that. That's bugging me, so flux will be your friend. Attack on my uh, air duster here. Okay. Let's go with them again. Flux making all the difference. All the solders in place and now you really want to get a hot solder on this hot. Not a complicated procedure. I'm just gonna wait for this to cool a bit now. There we go, and I can see the solder now setting. So the key for this is you want a really good hot solder on it before you do anything else. Okay, I'm just gonna get that back to 
to matte level. And then we'll give it a clean. the other side and look at that beautiful small cone of solders come through each one I can see all the 12 16 pins looking absolutely amazing okay no damage to the port and the port is sitting flush with the board and everything is looking perfect no problems okay I'm just gonna Tidy this up over here. A little bit of discoloration there with the flux run over. Okay. And our port is attached well. Everything is looking good, straight, it's tidy, it's neat, and it's clean. Okay, I'm just going to give it one final wipe. It's got some residues on it. And with that, now ready. So I'm going to close this back up now, put the card back together, make sure everything's happy, and then we'll go about testing it. Um, just because it wasn't visible at the time I was doing the socket there, I'm using chip quick solder paste. Looks like that. I am using the Amtec V3 flux. And what I was using to blow the holes out is just a regular can of air duster. And it's a phenomenal technique. So I said it's so much easier than wicking. Obviously, you don't want to blow it onto any components underneath, so make sure you've got some clearance. But uh, yeah, very quick, very easy. For anyone that wicks these boards, they understand that uh, wicking any through hole components on a 19 layer board can be a major, major problem. Perfect. Okay, and here it is, plugged in, booting up.
Start installation. And I'm going to put it on a test for about an hour. And then we'll come back and see if that port's picking up any extra heat. Okay, here we are. We've just gone over an hour now. So what I want to do is just put my finger on the connection and we're just going to temperature check it to see if it's actually going to burn me or not. And the connector is no hotter than the card, so everything there is looking pretty good. So that's perfect.